I use my Google account and my Facebook account to log into everything. But what if my Google or Facebook account was hacked? Well, that's where a password manager comes in and the sponsor of this video being NordPass. So NordPass is a zero knowledge password manager. It stores all your passwords in one place. You can log in faster. It helps you shop and browse faster and you can actually help you generate very difficult, strong passwords. It has a data breach scanner so you can find if, you know, like your credit card info is leaked. It'll help you steer away from weak passwords, including like one, two, three, four, five, six and ones using your name. And so having the ability to have all your passwords in one place, having the ability to not forget your passwords, to save time, increase your cyber security, and a 30-day money-back guarantee, NordPass is definitely an essential password manager for anybody in 2022. So go to nordpass.com forward slash Joel Hansen and or use that code Joel Hansen or just click the link down below to get an exclusive NordPass deal and an extra one month free. Yes, so like I said, click the link down below, use that code Joel Joel Hansen, protect your cybersecurity, keep your passwords in one place, easy, quick, convenient. Let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're in downtown San Jose, California, outside Iguanas. So this place is so well known for their Burrito Zilla Challenge. In fact, they've actually come to adapt it to put it in the name. So now it is, you know, Iguanas Burrito Zilla. So there's in multiple locations all around. We're at the one downtown. Super cool. I believe this is the original. If you see like just it is decked out there you got artwork they got some really really cool views and looks and stuff anyway so their burrito zilla is a five pound burrito challenge um like i said definitely the most well-known challenge in the area so while i'm here i'm gonna give it a try i already ate earlier i'm not gonna lie so i'm pretty full but i gotta fit it in gotta fit it in um basically the rules are you got 60 minutes you if you complete it you get a t-shirt um, you have to pay for the burrito regardless, it was 32 bucks. But nonetheless, when in you know the area, gotta give it a shot. You gotta pick your meat, your beans, and I believe everything else is standard on it. But anyway, let's have it in, let's have fun. Um, this challenge has been done by many other food eaters. I believe the record is held by Molly, and they did like a contest, and I think it was like a minute she did it, which is insane. So, um, in all reality, like I said, because I already ate, I would hope that I could do the burrito in, let's say, I don't know. I would hope like eight minutes maybe, we'll go with that. But anyway, let's have a funny food. Let's get eating. All right, so here we are with the burrito. Um, definitely pretty sizable, I will say that. But yeah, so technically one hour time limit. Again, the prizes are a free shirt, you pay for the meal regardless. But nonetheless, it looks really good. I went with a chipotle chicken. That was their recommendation for like a soft meat. Although they said it also weighs more because it's pretty, quite moist and there's peppers and onions with it as well. Um, but yeah, then beans are with black beans. Then there's all the sour cream, guacamole, rice. Um, I got to put lettuce in it. It needs some fiber. And that's about that, guys. So like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. Super glad to be able to do it. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this thing is super dense. This is just like a solid brick of food. But uh, let's get rocking and rolling. I also got some of their uh, red salsa here on the side. Ooh. I'm not sure what's in it, but it's good. Spicy though. So how about we get started guys? We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Mm. Pico. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're in the downtown San Jose, California at Iguana's, yes, Iguana's Burrito Zilla. So this has been a burrito challenge I've wanted to try for a very long time, just as I've always seen people do it, like lots of notable eaters. It's been on, I don't think it technically was on Man Vs. Food, but it was on like Food Network shows like Big Eats and all these other things. So they've gotten a lot of fame and notoriety around this, so much so that they, again, they actually did like change the name to include Burrito Zilla. And if you look up Burrito Zilla and or Iguana's, um, I mean, the two uh, web searches are like the exact same. They're bringing the same result. It is good. 
So they definitely pride themselves on this challenge, and like I said, it's definitely brought them a lot of notoriety and a lot of fame. Um, there were multiple locations around, but we were at the original downtown location, um, kind of in the university area from my understanding. And uh, yeah, so like I said, want to try this challenge. Uh, five pound burrito, 30 or uh, 60 minutes, and if you complete it by yourself, you do get a free t-shirt. Um, again, you do have to pay for it, but pretty straightforward, I would say. Um, so I went with a uh, Chipotle chicken. They have, of course, like a carne asada. They do have a carnitas. They had a regular chicken. Um, kind of all your traditional kind of standard options. They did not have a ground beef option, at least when I was there. And um, they had another meat option, uh, but it's slipping my mind at the moment, but it was sold out. Um, they do kind of sell out of the meats throughout the day, so if you wanted you know, a particular meat, you're better off to go earlier rather than later. And yeah, so anyway, it was. I think I went, made an okay meat choice. It was very moist. Um, they did say how like it was going to be a bit heavier if I chose the Chipotle chicken because it was uh, like it's braised. It's it's really it's sitting in a moist liquid, and so technically this could have been maybe a bit more than five pounds because um, there's also like peppers, etc. And they have like a standard allotment of items of like number of scoops and stuff they put on these burritos. They don't necessarily weigh it. So again, they did say hey like if you choose this uh, Chipotle chicken you may be having a bit more weight but I said that was fine nonetheless um, I had already done a challenge during the day so I was very very full but I wanted to fit this in while I was in the area I only had very limited time and I wanted to see if I could do it this is where the, I'm very full comes in. Woo! Makes it more difficult. I knew this burrito was likely going to kick my butt just being so full, um, but I re really wanted to, see, again, I kind of wanted to just, you know, be able to say, hey, I was in San Jose and I did this, um, you know, burrito zilla challenge, so I'm glad that I came to try it. Um, I, again, two things I was facing because I was so full. A, I really hoped that I could even just complete it, but then if I could, I was really hoping that I'd be able to do it probably about like eight minutes, let's say like seven, eight minutes. That's kind of what I hoped. Um, kind of gauging on how I felt. Uh, the burrito kind of was falling a little bit out the bottom, which I made it a little bit more uh, timely to eat, but nonetheless. Um, I also went with black beans, and I added lettuce to it. The lettuce was not required, um, but you know, again, like the pico and the rice, the beans, the meat, that's kind of all standard. And then the sour cream, avocado, um, or guacamole, I should say. So yeah, it was a good amount of fixings. Um, staff were really nice. Besides that, pretty straightforward. You can go in and order this burrito at any time. Most people order it as like a group, so they split the big item. Because I mean, really, no one needs to eat a five pound burrito, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much the majority of the information that I have. Again, it's a relatively straightforward and well-known challenge. It's kind of falling out the bottom. It's making it a little more difficult to eat, but... But at that, let me know down below your favorite kind of burrito. I think I'm gonna go with a, like a beef burrito of some sort. Generally, I really like beef or pork. Some pork can be really good, but man, I love salsas and flavors. So uh, like I said, let me know your favorite kind of burrito down below, whether it be beef or chicken or, you know, maybe it's seafood. There's some shrimp burritos and stuff out there. And at that, let's ultimately tune on in, see if we can complete this, and let's get to the rest of the video.
About seven minutes in, guys. I am full, I'll tell you that much. Oh, I was full before I started. Very full. there. Woo. I think we were maybe just shy of nine minutes if I'm not mistaken. That was actually a big burrito. I mean I knew it was big but it's very very big. I definitely being so full that it was definitely a lot more difficult than I anticipated. I was hoping uh, you know probably to get this more done about like eight minutes. Seven eight minutes. It's a little slower than I had hoped, but that being said, it was a good burrito. I like the flavors on it. Got some air in me. Uh, the Chipotle chicken was had a great flavor on it. Everybody said their favorite was the uh, the uh, asada. But I figured the asada might be a little harder to chew. I hope my camera's focused. So yeah, anyway, so um, for that, we do get a t-shirt, which is cool. We're completing in the one hour time limit. But yeah, I'm really glad I got to do this again. This is probably the most noted kind of food challenge in the San Jose area. Um, you know, dating back to not only multiple TV shows, uh, but you know, like I said, some real notable eaters, you know, kind of trying this, doing that contest that we mentioned. Um, so yeah, that's about that, guys. So the meal was um, 32 bucks. And uh, that's about that, guys. So like I said, if you're ever in the area, definitely stop by. The staff from here are super, super kind. Um, they'll hook up with a burrito of all sizes. Don't recommend eating this one with one individual, but you can feed a whole family with this. It's a very heavy and big burrito. It's made with three 14-inch tortillas. But uh, that's been a run. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, cool looking spots, especially on the outside. And uh, yeah, downtown San Jose. So, woo, kick my butt. But that everyone, until next time, say happy, hungry, happy eating. I got no other words. Oh, besides, they have horchata. And it looks really good. Maybe I'll give it a shot, but that's it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, thank you, San Jose. Thank you, Iguanas. Whew. And I'm full, guys, so until next time, have a lovely day. What's up, everybody? Beautiful day here in San Jose, California. California. 
So, uh, <laughs> anyway, I was gonna go to the gym, um, but I decided not to. I decided I just kinda, I just kinda wanna do some cardio, so I decided to go for a run. So I just got back, in about 30 minutes, um, down this street, which is called Lincoln, and it intersects with, uh, oh my gosh, dirty windshield. Anyway, it intersects with Minnesota. This is Minnesota, this is Lincoln we're on right now. Um, there's a little farmer's market over there I went to, which is kinda cool, and let's see, uh, anyway, this, this little strip is all just filled with all kinds of cool shops, boutiques, restaurants, Restaurants. Um, I'm gonna show you like 30 seconds of it just so you get an idea but it's as it's like a Saturday morning there's so many people just like out and about you know having breakfast and lunch see they got like the place that advertising a rate buzz they got um, barber shops they got all kinds of you know just little cute quaint shops and yeah I thought it was just kind of a really cool thing that I stumbled upon um, that I was super thankful for as I'm running down the street had some of you guys stop me and say hey What's up? I, I know you I know you which I always appreciate people saying hello and uh, Yeah, so super cool, but yeah, just had a lovely little run here this morning and uh, now we're gonna go eat some food